In this problem, we told that we have a siphon draining liquid from a container. So we have our container here. We'll set our reference vertical position at the present level of the fluid anyway. The siphon starts a distance d down from that, rises to a distance h1 above that, and then ends at a distance d plus h2 below the surface of the water. So the first thing we want to do is figure out what the velocity is in the siphon. Then we want to figure out what the pressure is at the top of the siphon. And then we want to figure out what the maximum distance is from point A to point B to get fluid to flow. Start out, this is going to be a problem dealing with Bernoulli's equation. So we can write between a reference point and point C. So P naught plus one half rho D naught squared plus rho G Y naught equals, and it equals what the conditions at the exit. So PC plus one half rho VC squared plus rho GYC. So what do we got that zero here? Well, we have our pressures are both atmospheric. Velocity at the surface is zero. The height at the surface is zero. So we simply get that VC equals square root of minus 2GYC. So that's the square root of 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared. YC is minus, so we cancel the minus out here. And YC is D plus H2, so that's 0 0.52 meters. Plugging our numbers in, we get that the flow rate is 3.2 meters per second. So now we want to figure out what the pressure at point B is. So again, we can write Bernoulli's equation between the surface and point B. So again, we have some things. The velocity at the surface is zero. The height of the surface of the water is zero. We know the pressure is atmospheric there. If we want the absolute pressure in B. So we have that pressure at point B equals pressure at the surface minus one half rho times the velocity at point B is the same as the velocity at C from our continuity equation. Yb is H1. So plugging in numbers, we have atmospheric pressure. That gives us then if we use Vc from before, we get that minus one half rho Vc squared is minus two G Y C. Then we get minus rho G Y B. So that's simply rho G Y C minus Y B plus D naught. And that is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. Not 9.8 meters per second squared. Yc is minus d minus h2. Yb is h1. And so using those all together, we get minus 0 0.77 meters. Plugging that in the calculator and using atmospheric pressure, we get that that pressure at point B is 92 kilopascals. Now we want to figure out what the maximum height is that we can have our siphon draining water from. Again, we can write Bernoulli's equations between the surface of the water and, uh, and point B. In this case, water will stop flowing when the pressure at point B drops to zero. That's going to be zero. 
we already know that the surface velocity is zero and the height that the surface is zero. We know what Vb squared is, so we can solve for Yb equals P naught minus rho two rho times the square root of minus two G by C all divided by zero G. So that is simply P naught over rho G plus Plugging in our numbers, we get atmospheric pressure 1.01 times 10 to the fifth Pascal divided by density of the water times gravity. plus density of the water times g times yc is minus d minus h2 so we get that yb max equals 10.2 meters so we want the height of the siphon and so that's d call that d equals ib plus d max and so that is 10.2